Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan, now going carnivore. We've been doing that now for a few weeks. Penny's lost some weight. I lost some weight. <clears throat> One day we'll go into the whole thing, but uh, I kind of like it. Penny likes it. <laughs> I like it. It's, all the meals we cook are so simple. So uh, we both like roast beef. We went to the store. Uh, it was Publix, and we got some roast beef. And I've, I've got a pound and a half. It's like $21 and change, $22 and change, whatever. So I said, I, I'll make them on. Because we, we had a recipe, Penny and I both, uh, from when we were in a meat shop, uh, roast beef recipe, it, it flew out the door. Everybody loved it. Uh, it's easy to cook, so we're going to do that today. Make you guys a roast beef. And you can do it yourself. I mean, you can get a small, you know, a little two-pound thing like we have here today, or a one-pound, five-pound, whatever. The cooking times are the same seasonings, whatever you like to put on it. So without further ado, let's get to it, because I got the munchies. <laughs> I ain't ate nothing since last night. <laughs> there you go, my little queen got me a hat. Go carnivore, with a cow standing underneath. <laughs> okay, this is the eye of round roast. You can use a top round, you can use a bottom round, you can use any kind of round. <coughs> but anyway, uh, what I did was I seasoned it with some salt and pepper, as you can see, but got some garlic powder around there. You can't really see that one, but anyhow, that's all I put on there. Okay, now we're going to take that, and I got put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan, very little, see? And we're going to place this skin side, I mean fat side, up. Hope it stays that way. <laughs> Had a hard time balancing that. Okay, and my oven... Is at 500 degrees. So we're going to cook this little 2.2 pound uh, roast at five minutes a pound. We're going to do it for about 11, 11, 11 to 12 minutes. Now, the trick to this is once you put it in the oven, don't open it up. <laughs> put it in the oven at 500. We're going to cook it for that amount of time. Then we're going to shut off the oven and just let it sit in there for up to two to three hours, just depending. And then it should be done. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm not going to put a lid on it. Put it in the oven, and we'll check back with you guys in about two plus hours. Okay, so I got my timer set. Well, I set it for 12 minutes. It's just cruising along. So uh, we'll be back at the end of that 12 minutes, and then we wait. Okay, so as you can see, my 12 minutes is up. Turn off the timer. And turn off the heat. <coughs> now remember, don't open the oven. And let it sit in there for about two hours, maybe a little longer. All right, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, guys, I just took this out of the oven, and doesn't that look good? That was a total of, uh, I left it in the oven about almost three full hours, uh, 12 minutes of cooking time. And look at that, huh? All right, we're going to put it on a board, and we're going to slice her up. Okay, so uh, Miss Camera Girl volunteered to be the slicer and dicer. She's better at it than I am. Uh, so we're going to try. We have a slicing knife here. We're going to try to get it real thin. Uh, look at how pink that is. Right? Any, it's, this is going to be beautiful, tasty. Oh, yeah. We get you a slicer for Christmas. <laughs> we can we can order one of those tomorrow for No. We get an early Christmas present. <laughs> I I ain't gonna have one order by. Alright, so and whatever you guys do, don't throw the juice away that's in the bottom of the pan. You can use a cast iron skillet, a cast iron baking pan, whatever you got. I just used a hillbilly pan, I call it, that blue speckle pan, whatever. I'm going to start plating some of this up while you're... You just want to taste it. Go ahead. Look at how juicy that is. You <laughs> see the juice coming out of there? Woo! Look at that. That's juice, man. Who's he juicy? Let's put it on your dish. and This dog is like... <laughs> yeah, the dog wants in on the action, huh? 
All right, I'm guys, I'll meet you over this. here at the taste test table. It's kind of it's only a little warm. I'm going to eat it right now. Uh, and camera girl will get back to her official duty. How does that taste? Well, good. Mm -hmm. All right. You heard it first. It's good. There's our plate. Meet you at the table. Okay, guys, we're going to delve into this here delicious looking roast beef. All right. I'll put a little hot sauce on here. This is for, uh, we like hot sauce, but really, it's good flavor. Okay, so. Wow. I gotta say, it's spot on. Hmm. And it's way more cheaper making it this way than if you go buy the deli and have them slice it up. And this is very, very moist. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends and neighbors. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. There's an arrow down button below the video on the right hand side. Hmm. You hit that. The drop down box will come down. And I'm going to give you a link to Cooking with Mr. Dan Facebook page, a link to my daughter's artwork site page, and we'll just put you some ingredients of what we did today, which really isn't much. That's why I like the carnivore diet, and you guys should too. It's easy, it's delicious, and you've got, you can fluctuate between uh, pork, chicken, eggs, turkey, whatever, uh, but the biggest one is the beef, and that's what we're doing this week, the beef Beef, beef, mm, beef, bacon. Somebody else in eggs. Butter. Butter. <laughs> I look forward to butter. Okay. So, my friends, stay hungry. And when you are, come back and we'll give you another delicious dish just like this. And like I said, these, this dish is like for carnivore that we're using it now. But anybody can make it. Anybody can eat it. So until next time, stay healthy, stay COVID free. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. This is Mr. Dan saying we're out for now. Oh, I'm <clears throat> tired. You can slice some.